Pivotal Greenplum Polymorphic Storage. What is polymorphic storage? In Greenplum, when you create a table, you have a choice of choosing either column-oriented or row-oriented for the data. There are advantages to each. In a row-oriented table, all of the columns that make up a row are stored together in one single file. If the row is small enough, it would actually fit on a single data page in the single file. In a column-oriented table, there is a file created for every column that's defined in the table itself. So if there are 30 columns in a table, you would have at least 30 files on disk to store the data. All of the values for a given column for all the rows in the table are grouped together. Greenplum also offers compression for data tables. This is for both row and column oriented tables. In this case, I use compression on a column oriented table. I can get more data values from the rows stored in each individual file. Heap table storage is the default storage model in Greenplum. Heap table storage works best for OLTP type workloads where the data is often modified after it is initially loaded. Update and delete operations work best on heap tables. Heap tables are best suited for smaller tables such as dimension tables that are often updated after they are initially loaded. To create a heap table, just issue the create table statement, give a distribution clause, and the default storage type will be heap, row oriented. Append optimized offers both row and column oriented. Append optimized table storage works best with denormalized fact tables in a data warehouse environment. Fact tables are generally loaded in batches and accessed by read only queries. Single row insert, update, and delete statements are not recommended. Row oriented storage is good for workloads where most of the queries query the vast majority of the columns in a table. So retrieving the, the data from the database is efficient. Column-oriented storage is really good for data warehouse workloads with aggregations of data computed over a small number of columns or for single columns that require regular updates without modifying the other column data. To create an append-optimized table, either row or column-oriented, use the create table syntax. Add the with clause and say append only equal true to create an append optimized table row oriented. If you want the table column oriented, add orientation equal column to the table definition. To apply compression to an entire append optimized table, use the compress type clause. You can also use the encoding clause to specify a compression type on a per column level. It is possible to choose a table type and compression option by partition. For example, if you have a table partitioned by day, the current day table could be of type heap to allow changes and updates to the data. That data could then be converted to an append optimized table, no compression for fast access, and that information could be stored for say the next quarter. After that, the data could then be converted to an append-optimized, column-oriented, compressed table with a high level of compression for long-term storage. To learn more about Pivotal Greenplum, visit any one of these sites. For specific information on available table types, compression options, and how to use the table types and compression options with the partition table, visit the Pivotal Greenplum documentation at gpdb dot docs dot pivotal dot io thank you